Hi, my name is Lon Diffenderfer, and I'm a 56-year-old husband and father from Pennsylvania. I apologize in advance if you hear any street noise in the background. I live on the main street of uh, my hometown, and um, I also apologize if you see me glancing at notes. It is the only way that I can be sure to make the points that I want to make. I have a condition called hydrocephalus, um, which is a condition where too much fluid um, builds up in the cranium and places pressure on the brain, which for me causes severe headaches, um, sleep disturbance, and short-term memory loss. Although I was diagnosed at age 36, our insurance company at the time, one of the largest in the country, refused my claims saying that my condition was pre-existing. Had it not been for my wife uh, being employed in the healthcare industry and being um, very knowledgeable of the insurance industry and being able to fight for me, we would have likely gone bankrupt and um, quite possibly I would not be here today or would be here um, with a permanent uh, severe um, neurological disability. Uh, I'm sorry, this is difficult because my wife has basically not just saved my life, but saved our family. Um, so uh, something I'm very humbled by and very grateful for. Uh, I needed several brain surgeries um, because of the hydrocephalus and um, the uh, insurance companies gave us grief the whole way and as I said um, had it not been for my wife um, we probably would have gone bankrupt. Uh, most people are not so lucky they do not have the knowledge nor the money to fight the insurance companies and we must have Medicare for all to fulfill the right of people to obtain health care in this country and to provide financial protection to individuals and families from being sunk by medical debt. I fully support force the vote to have Medicare for all brought to the floor of the house because health care is a human right. Yes, we already know that the representatives and senators who have not co-sponsored Medicare for all are against health care as a human right. We know that. But there are also co-sponsors of the Medicare for all bills who will not vote for them if they come for, up to a vote on the floors of the House and the Senate. They must also be exposed and removed from the House and the Senate. And if Nancy Pelosi refuses to bring Medicare for all to the floor of the House for a vote, then she should not be chosen as Speaker of the House. It is that simple. Force the vote for Medicare for all.